What is up YouTube? Um, today I figured I'd make another quick tutorial on something that I found out last night that uh, really, really helped me out and uh, saved me a lot of time since I'm new to the whole modeling thing and I didn't know this and I don't think a lot of people out there do know this but um, found it out last night there's a program called Make Human and it's a great program that just basically you can make a human in practically any position in like two or three minutes and this is great so um, I'm going to put the link in the description to download it or check it out um, I really do recommend it I have it installed and I'm going to show you um, on how to import it into Blender today because that kind of confused me for about 20 minutes till I figured it out so um, yeah I have it installed so I'm just going to open it And it kind of opens like Blender, which is pretty cool. But, uh, huh. This is uh, Make Human. As you can see, um, here's our normal human being. Um, starts out as a uh, guy slash girl. And you can mess around with all the, uh, make it more manly by going up here. This is the uh, sex up this way. Age is this way. You can make them old. Um, you can mess with their body mass, their muscles, their weight, all the all this stuff over here. Uh, you can get them to look pretty much however you want to. And uh, there's a uh, you can move their joints around. You click that button, I think. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I'm new to this too. This is my uh, second time using this, but click on any any joint. These are all the joints in this body, and uh, over here it shows you what it can do. So if you just uh, left click it and move it up like this, keep going like this. See how his uh, arm is moving over. You can do that for his hand. Pretty much any joint. Um, and it's great because I, help, I uh, have one where he looks like he's holding a gun because I'm making an animation and I need him to hold a gun so that's what I posed him into now um, when you save this you want to save it as a you want to export it as a wavefront file um, just go ahead and let it save, hit enter for there and it will save into that folder and you're going to go into Blender and you're going to come up here and you're going to go to uh, scripting you're going to click on scripts click on scripts, go to update menus Click on scripts, go to import, wavefront, and then you're going to find it. You're going to import, and then just click. Okay. Oh. Um, hit G. And there he is. There's a little guy. That's, uh, that's my position that I was talking about earlier. Where it looks like he's holding a gun, at least in one hand. But, um,. They're really high poly, they're really, really detailed. Oops. His head is not attached to his body for some reason. I'm gonna render him real quick. Okay. Yeah, um, 
one thing you definitely want to do is uh come down here and uh set smooth that'll help a lot and uh yeah I just wanted to make a quick tutorial on that because that really helped me out and uh I think it can help a lot of you guys out I just don't think you know about it a lot of you and uh yeah I was reading last night on how to do it and I couldn't find a video tutorial for it so I figured I'd make one for you guys and uh hopefully you can use it to help you out and uh thanks for watching